Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Revelation fully early, early, fully revelation early, whatever the hell. Anyways, we're gonna play this down test today and I think we're gonna try and do a beast run, maybe? I haven't really thought of doing a beast run with the new characters for a little while here, so we're gonna try it out. Um, we, of course, get the double items here. We get the Eye of Balor, which is amazing. And I think we will actually take it for this guy. And the other one we can give to our other fella. Uh, but yeah, the Eye of the Law here, uh, from what I remember, is very, very good. Basically, it makes it so that the um, the enemy that's got the lowest amount of HP in the room gets marked to deal, so for you to deal more damage to. Um, so basically, it just makes every enemy a bit easier to kill. Um, because as you shoot at them, it lowers their health. It chain At first, when I first got this item, I thought it would be their max, whoever's got the lowest max HP, but it's just the lowest current HP. Which, oh, and apparently it works on both characters. Um, apparently we've, we've been given, we've been blessed with having it for both characters. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I'm very, very pleased about it. Because that's going to, yeah, I don't, I don't, maybe that's a thing that happens if you take the item first like that. But yeah, that's going to make our life significantly easier. Oh, that was a really bad hit there. That was stupid. Um, yeah, going to make our life significantly easier because it you do deal a lot more damage um, from what I've noticed. And like I said, it changes retrospectively on who's currently got the least amount of health. So we'll get our dime here. I like the fact that you get that dime. Very nice. Doesn't seem like this could be enough to do anything with the shop, but we've got a lot of bombs. So I'll go and check it out. But yeah, we've been having some fun runs um, as these characters recently. Now, I will say at the minute, they are kind of known for crashing. I mean, why not? Damn, that was pretty good going. I right, bomb that. Tiny planet. Hell yeah, why not? Why the heck not? And I might as well buy this as well. We've got a ton of bombs still as well, so let's try and find our secret room. As for the question of the day today, I don't really have a good one in mind, I'll be honest. I want one that a lot more people can answer, because I've noticed, like, recently, people haven't been as down with the question of the day as normal. Um, and I'd like to see more people getting involved with it. I think it's a really fun little thing. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'm just going to ask what's what's something you'd like to ask me. I've um, I've asked this question quite a few times. Okay, highly fun it works with both of these guys, which is pretty good. I've asked this question quite a bit before, but... There's always new people, and there's always new questions to ask. So yeah, what's something that you'd like to ask me? Because I'd be intrigued to know. Oh, look at this is... Okay, this is good. I don't know why there's so many tears on the screen, but... I gotta tell you, it's decent enough for me. Right, I like it. And we got some golden hearts here. Yeah, so we're gonna go regular path here, and we're gonna try and do the beast. Should've probably looked for second secret room as well there, maybe, but it should be fine without it. It'd be nice if we had a key to go in there straight away, but we do not. But yeah, this guy on his own is going to be a little bit iffy with their tiny planet. Not too bad, though, because we've got the Eye of Balor. It's like, it's, it's probably not even Balor. I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I honestly can't even really remember how it's supposed to be pronounced. But that's what I'm going to call it. I just like the fact that we got it for both characters. That makes things so much easier for us. Okay, you get out of here. You're not too bad. You're going to spawn little things on us, but that's honestly not really a huge problem. And hopefully we can meet up re reasonably quick here. Okay. I, I need to remember about the book slam as well. Just because we have, um... Just because we have Tiny Planet doesn't mean we shouldn't get close sometimes. Really? A Golden Heart that only gave me three coins? That's a bit of a rip-off. And we get, um... T yeah, we'll definitely take that. That's decent enough. I always forget there's, uh... Different things you can get from the different types of, uh... Tinted Rocks. A lot of money there as well. Beautiful. I love it when you get a massive grouping of um, a massive grouping of what they called uh, what the hell are they called? Fool's gold rocks. Plus six coins. Uh, I was yeah. I guess I'll give that to the other guy. Need to remember not to walk out of doors while the uh, items going through to the other guy though, because that does mess things up. Yeah, this is the triple shooter, guys, isn't it? So, oh god, that thing's that thing's aggressive. Okay, health isn't amazing right now, but it's not that bad. Okay. What, what, what's left? Oh, did you manage to get by, get by me there? What the hell? I never even saw that dude. I never even saw him. He slipped right by. 
So yeah, when we pick up these coins, it does like damage to everything. Damn it, I'm getting hit loads. Pretty good stuff though. I like the cool glasses. Gonna drop our money on the floor, but we get to utilize that money for stuff, so. Oh, and it seems to have... Hmm. Confusing. So, we had the glasses on both characters then for a hot second, didn't we? Why? Why? That was such a bad idea. Right. Let's go to our shop here. Be into our item room. And then we'll, um... We'll go for our boss. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm really liking these characters so far. Hell of a lot of fun. Really, really interesting. Create some cool builds. It's just the crashing that I'm not a big fan of. Cactus. Cactus in a pot spawns each room. Cactus is of five tiers of projectiles and they explode into a small tier shower. Um... Cactus regenerate after a short time. I think I will take this. I like the cactus. It's, it's cool. I'll give it to you as well. Why not? But yeah, they can absorb tears and then they explode into tacks. Pretty decent, especially with Tiny Planet. We're going to be hitting it pretty regularly and it spawns randomly around the room as well. So yeah, I think this is going to be pretty good to have. It's going to be a nice addition. And also it's very, very cute, which means I can put it in the thumbnail and people will like that. <laughs> That's always a huge, uh, a huge positive. Second secret room could be either of these sides. It's not either of those sides, though. Shame. Look at that. It hit the tax straight away. Oh, I did get hit there. Oh my god. That damage we just dealt is insane. Holy. Um. Give that to you. Give that to you. And then I'll go devil deal here because we do have a lot of HP and we didn't even get an item. Actually, we got Guppy's Tail, though. Guppy's Tail's pretty decent. Although we don't have keys, so it's not going to be super useful. But honestly, pretty, pretty good step up there. I think this floor was pretty successful for us. Uh, today, I've just had a kind of a chill one, though. I've not been doing too much. Um, I went rock climbing. or I think it's more accurately bouldering. Um, because it's like... It's when you do it like without any harnesses or anything. And I think that's, I think that's when you call it bouldering. I never know when... When it's rock climbing, when it's bouldering, I'll be honest. But I think rock climbing is when you're, like, harnessed up and everything. And bouldering is when you're not. And we did the one where you're not harnessed in or anything. And there's just, like, crash mats below you. And I, I, I kind of went to my, my girlfriend and her friend go... Um, well, now our friend go. Um, and I've been before, and I'm not particularly good at it. So I was like, eh, I probably won't go again. But I thought, why not? I might as well just at least come along. I might not do much. Uh, but I ended up being a lot better at this time than I thought I'd be. Like, a lot, lot better. Um, they, they have, like, different tiers of walls that you can climb. Um, I'm getting kind of confused at what's going on with my items right now. It seems that we're adopting all of our items for both characters. It's not how that's meant to happen, is it? So, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Um, I mean, I'm not going to complain, but... Seems that most items have, have, have transferred over to both characters. I don't know if that's something that's happening on purpose or something that I've bugged. But either way, I'm happy about it. Oh, and you... You shitting bastard. I always forget that Tiny Planet Tears can hit your bombs. I lost a heart because of that. Very annoying. Yeah, this guy with Tiny Planet's crazy. The tier height's wacky. They're, 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 they're so high up. Friend zone ain't that good, but we'll take it. I wonder if friend zone will get transferred as well. I don't know if I'm going the right way here or not, but keep it going and see what happens. Hello, crab. I do, do not like the crabs. So get that. I guess I get that dead as quick as possible. This, this guy doesn't have the sunglasses sometimes, and then sometimes he does, I think? I don't know. Like I said, things are getting rather confusing. I think we're going the right way to meet up. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> Immediately disproved on that front. I'll take the pills. We are definitely might like a bit more HP coming our way. Okay, we've, we finally met up with each other. Good, good. Back up this way. Actually, let's check this out first. Eh, no. <laughs> Not worth. Not worth at all. But yeah, it was really nice. Um, 
like I said, I was better at it than I expected to be. Hello. We have met up once more, good friend. And it just, it's kind of satisfying. <laughs> um, I, I definitely ache after the fact now though, uh, but that's kind of to be expected. It's pretty cheap as well. Like, I think it's like 11 pounds, but you can like, you can go and just stay as long as you want. Um, which is pretty awesome. I think this is secret room right here. I'm not, I'm not really an... We got death certificate again. Hello. Okay. This is a weird one. So obviously I don't want to crash. I don't know what we're going to take here. I mean, I'm just going to go for it because why not? And it's not a bugged out death certificate area this time, which is nice. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to go for. Because, I mean, there's the obvious go for like Sacred Heart and get the Herming and everything. But I always, I always prefer to grab a modded item if I can. Um... But let me let me go and try and find some modded item rooms first. Okay, so here's some modded items here. There's the golden plum there. Um, nothing else in there looks insane. Contagion. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Got some interesting stuff in here. What's this? Enemies killed. Um, leave behind a short-lived ghost. Ooh, this one's kind of interesting. Um, birthday gift replaces all items with mystery gift. Rerolls um, and special items are not affected. That that could be pretty interesting. Ooh. Okay, that's that's definitely my top contender right now. That seems really interesting. Because you can essentially get a bunch of different secret room items and devil items and angel items and all that sort of good stuff. That seems really cool. Like I said, I'll have a little little bit more of a look around first. Hemolacria is always fun. But and it getting something that enables me to get even more items seems like seems like the best idea right now. I'm trying not to confuse myself with where I am. Glitch Crown is also always a good idea. Um, nothing in here that hugely intri intrigues me. I do like it taking my time here and having a good little look around. But that, that mystery gift one seems, seems really good. Soul Heart in here somewhere, apparently. I don't see it. Maybe it's under the dresser. Godhead, of course, would be fantastic. But I, I, just, I don't like taking vanilla things. Um, okay, I've got to go around here because my uh, my cactus dude has spawned in the way. Hmm, <laughs> fruitcake is always good. I don't know if I'd take fruitcake, though. Compound fracture's a fun one. I like it. I kind of like this because we just get to see a bunch of really cool re-sprites. There's some good items in here. Last D4. I don't think I want to be using that. I'm going to actually drop that to make sure I don't accidentally use it. I think we're going to go with the birthday gift one, you know. I think we're early enough into the run for that to be a really fun one for us to grab. Ooh, purity looks really cool now. That, that resprite on that's really cool. Yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna. Ooh, even Tech X has. Yeah, these resprites are fantastic. They all look very uh, unique. I go around. I think it was. I don't actually remember where it was now. I think it was top left. I think it was this way. And then. Down and around. Oh wait, no, not here. Um, down. I really hate navigating this area. <laughs> it scares the shit out of me. And I think it was just left here. There it is. Yeah, birthday gift. Let's go with that. It seems like an interesting one. It might not end up being exactly what we want. And also with it like not applying to both characters, we have to be a little careful. But yeah, I, I feel like that could be a lot of fun. So if I go in here now and there's an item, it'll be mystery gift, right? 
It will. Okay, so we can grab Mystery Gift here. And then, do you know what? Just shot. Actually, yeah, no, I, I won't use an extra bomb here. I, I want to use my bombs for other stuff. So, go in here, and then we get Geode, drops a rune. All soul hearts drop by Tinted Rocks are turned into runes instead. That doesn't sound super useful, but I'll take it. Uh, we get a black rune. That's actually kind of useful to have in case we get something dookie. Um, then we go over here and we can bomb this. Try and get a nickel. Got a luck penny as well here. Nice. And we get another mysterious gift here. This is a lot of fun. I like this. And then this time we get the false idol. On use grants 10 points and 9 luck for the current room. And in care of visit from the narcissistic idol, uh, luck bonus is removed upon moving to a new room. Intriguing. I remember this not being very good the first time that I got it, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go nonetheless. Right, let's keep moving on. I want to keep my bombs so I've got enough to get into secret rooms. Yeah, it gives us huge luck for the room, which is actually pretty good for boss fights and stuff. If you've got luck-based effects and stuff. And then we get double mysterious gift. So we'll at least take in Oh wait, we can hold both. Oh wait, I don't I don't know if we can actually. Oh no, we can, we can. We can go in here. And we can go boom, boom. Ah, oh, we did get the poop for one of them. Boom. Um a beam of light appears on uncleared rooms. Walking into the light will spawn a herming laser ring. We get the prayer card here now cool <laughs> this is really cool okay and i guess i'll take the false idol as well because why not and i think we're good to go to the next floor here yeah this is this is a lot of fun i like this i'm i i kind of want to go for uh, um like not a beast run now though so i can keep this going a bit longer and get get more items if you know what i mean i just make sure we okay so oh okay oh it, it respawns as well okay Oh, that is... That's pretty cool. Now, I've got to give some stuff to this guy, because he's not really got much going on. Items-wise. I kind of forgot about that. Kind of forgot we need to share the love a little bit. Golden chest there. The key back there, but we don't want to go for that yet. Yeah, this guy has significantly more items right now, so... You might want to share the love a little bit in that regard. That is the worst place for that thing to spawn. The beam of light thing. I can't even get to it. Tears up if you are about to take fatal damage then to China. Um, yeah. A good tears up. Certainly. Probably want to give it to the other character, but... Oh well. This guy's doing plenty of damage, though, so we don't need to worry about it in that regard. It'd just be nice to share the love a little bit. Where's our... Oh, no, we don't have the ring on this character, do we? Ooh, these, these little dudes are kind of a pain in the ass. We got it, though, we got it. Hey, extra bombs is fantastic. We want to get to secret rooms as much as we possibly can, really. Like, maybe I want to be using this idle thing more often. I don't really know the best time to use it, I'll be honest. Holy shit, that ring's massive. I didn't realize it had spread so far. That's crazy. That is some craziness. Yeah, that, guy's, that guy's got creep following him. Oh, God. I gotta say, if we don't get hit in this room, I'd be surprised. And of course, we did. But yeah, that's, that's Death Certificate. And two, uh, two runs pretty close to one another. Pretty darn close. Okay, here we go. Hello again, sir. Right, let's remember to actually gift ourselves some other items. Look at that. It just hits everything. Beautiful. We definitely need more keys. Getting a mum's key sort of drop thing would be good as well. I really like this item. I can tell why it's quality 4. Right, keep going. Uh, tinted rock right there, I see you. And there's the rune we get rather than the soul heart. That's potentially quite good. I think if you're low on health, it's not a great item, but otherwise it can be pretty good. 
Shop, of course, is going to give us this. Um, let's bomb you and try and get the money. Lovely. And we can grab this. Do you know what? I'm just a black rune false idol. <clears throat> We're not really using it. Black rune. Right, now we need to find our secret room. <coughs> which I'm not 100% sure where that is. I think it's just to the left of us there. More bombs helps us a lot. Check this out. That will, of course, be another one of these. Right. This is such a cool idea for an item. So, first of all, let's check here. Yeah, okay, nice one, nice one. And we get a playing deck. We get the D-Infinity. Great. And we get Possum's Ear. I think we use the D-Infinity here to um, re-roll that into another mysterious gift. That's kind of funny. Um, and then we get the tool. Ooh, tool is really interesting. Um, if if I understand this reference correctly, I can't remember. I did speak about this item in another episode, but I think it was the one that I scrapped. So I'm going to go over it again, even if it does mean I might be repeating myself. Um, this is actually a reference to an item in Petscop, I believe. Um, for those of you that haven't seen Petscop, it was this sort of internet weird YouTube thing where this guy created like this YouTube playthrough series that kind of looked like it was from the early 2000s, early, um, like late 90s sort of thing where it's him playing through this game. He found his mum's basement and like, it's, it's really well done, but it's like made to be this innocent looking game that doesn't really exist that he's actually created for the purposes of this, of this like video and it's kind of like an ARG sort of thing not really an ARG there's nothing to discover so so to say but it's like um really creepy and it's like this game's really underdeveloped and there's like hidden areas and he finds like this under under the earth realm within it it's it's got some really really wacky stuff in there um it, it's it's very very interesting um, if anyone hasn't seen anything about Petscop, I highly recommend going watching some videos. Pyrocynical did a video on it, and plenty of other, other people have delved deep into it as well, and all of them are uh, really, really high-quality content. Um, right, I think we're just gonna go... I think I also forgot to give any items to my other character again, which is gonna be a, a probably quite common occurrence for us. I love this. I love the fact that we get to take two mysterious gifts... into the angel deal. Um, grants a shield that blocks one shot from behind. Decent. Give that to the other character. Give this to the other character. And I don't think we want Spirit Sword. I think that will ruin things. Grab that again. Keep her going. This has been a weird run. Very weird run, but yeah, um, it's, uh, the actual item, it basically, like, I think it's, like, shared damage between enemies, but you'll, you'll notice, you hear that noise then, where it goes, wah, 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 wah. that's kind of the noise when you pick up the, uh, puzzle pieces, or, I can't remember what they're called in, in the game now, but there's these little pieces that you can find are kind of the currency of the game, whenever you pick them up, it makes this weird little noise, and you'll be hearing that noise during us playing this. I will come back for those because they are pretty valuable, especially considering they're charged. But right now we don't need them. Yeah, that da -da 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 that little noise. Holy hell! The eye bouncing around. Am I meant to be killing the ghost or the eye? Okay, I thought I was meant to be killing the eye. Whoopsie. Right, um... We met up already? Damn, that was fast. That was very fast. Okay, um... I think we go boom. And boom. We need the keys, and also the eternal hearts are really nice. That's so cool. What a great item. I love it when you get to see all these new modded items and stuff. This is, this is what runs like this are for. We might even be fine to go beast, to be honest, because um, we've, we've got a lot of stuff going on. I don't want to open up all the golden chests, but I will open up a few here and there. We should have enough money to be able to buy more mysterious gifts as they come along. 
Hello, Ghosty. Yeah, that little noise there. And yeah, Petscop, it, it really was very interesting. I, I, I've watched a lot of videos about it, and it was just this really cool thing that this person made. And like, I don't know, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know how much was ever revealed about it in the end. But it's, it's, there's, there's a lot to it. It, it covers a lot of like, creepypastas and all that sort of stuff. Ooh, that's actually pretty damn good for us. We'll take that. Yeah, it covers a lot of, like, different creepypastas and, like, there's a few references to real-world things in there. Um, or, like, believed to be references. No one knows for sure. Uh, but, it, yeah, it's 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 wild. It's wild. I, I highly recommend it. Really, it's a really enjoyable watch. Even though the videos are on it usually are very long. They're usually, like, documentary-style videos on it. Um, in fact, I, I, there, there is still a lot of it that I haven't watched because it, it went... Like, the videos were uploaded over the course of quite a few years. Like, the, the playthrough parts. But it's, it's like, the way that the person does the video playthroughs, it's kind of, it, they kind of do them as if they're talking, like, to a friend and they made these videos specifically to show one of their friends in real life and not to show to a full YouTube audience. So, the way the commentary comes across very different. It's, it's very strange. Another mysterious gift. Right, let's try, let's try and find a secret room here so we can actually start using these things. Oh, sacred orb, hell yes. Gotta love that sacred orb of life. Right, come back over here. Buy this one. Try and come back for the other one, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Yeah, I love I love runs like this. The wacky this item is really cool. And we got it super early on as well. And we get the dice bag. Yes. Got a little bit of dice bag. Right. <clears throat> Let's keep it going on this floor. What are these burns surrounding me here? <laughs> I just love that noise. Okay, I, I had a feeling that was going to hit me. It's fine. I should probably go back and get my, uh, my spacebar item, but it's gone now. Oh, God. The game is not liking the amount of tears on screen right now. I need to be careful about how much I fire because the game is not not liking it. More money there. Okay. Where's the boss at? Okay, the boss is over there. Okay, we can get it because we're on the way back that way anyways. I could re-roll it to be fair. Oh. I don't know why my uh, my China thing dropped then. Didn't mean to shatter it. I did not mean to drop it at all. Right. Let's grab it real quick. We've got the speed to zoom right over there. I love the little crown we get from Sacred Orb as well. That's one of the mods that I'm using. Away we go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still feeling beast, I think, actually. We've got a lot out of this already. My goodness. Okay, we got two more to go at. Let's uh, go back and do two more secret rooms, shall we? We might get the poop or lump of coal again, but honestly, lump of coal would not be bad. Like, the poop is not great, but lump of coal I would not be sad about. There's the poop again. There's lump of coal. Okay, so we got the two bad choices that you can get out of it, but gotta say, lump of coal... Certainly not a bad one for us. I know I could you know, get, grab the D-Infinity and go back and re-roll the poop, but honestly, that's a lot of trekking back and forth. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. The mausoleum is already open for us here. 
I'm not exactly sure why. Yeah, I'm gonna just go down to the normal floor here. Let's meet up again. This this floor's always the one that's a bit wacky to meet up, a bit, a bit difficult. Um, I'll bomb you two. Ah, that wasn't very good. Tears down? That was a huge tears down as well. What the hell? An absolutely gargantuan tears down. That's depressing. We do have this uh, dice, um, the, the dice bag as well, whatever you want to call it, which is pretty good. Get some glass D6s in there. Keep using these things, it'll kill everything eventually. Oh really? Did you see that then? I used my space bar and literally instantly got hit the moment I used it. That was not so great. I'm gonna try and keep my devil deal alive here, but I'll be honest, not a super high chance of it happening. See if we can get some health in here. Eh. No, no, no. But still, as both characters, things are not, not particularly hard for us to kill right now. That is not a problem. There's another penny for us. And up we go this way. I love these, like, death rings. They're really good. I think we're only a few rooms away now. Oh, we got some pins in here. Only one, actually. Oh, it's, they spawn in bad places sometimes, though. I'll definitely give them that. Lots more money to play around with. Lovely. Oh, we got some mum's hands coming in. But luckily, we've got the coming down mod on, so we know when and where they're going to land and how many there are of them as well, which is a huge help. Spicy keys, doubles hearts, and three random bomb pickups. Oh, great. Oh, great. Get me out of that hellhole. Okay, we'll leave any item rooms until we're, we're metal. I think. I think that's the best player. Damn, these guys are kind of tricky. This, this dude eludes me. What is it that needs killing? Oh, there you are. He was not popping up. Oh, there's another few of you as well. Okay, these guys can jump on me, so let's be careful of that. But we absolutely fill the screen with tears. I'm not quite sure why we fill the screen with tears quite as much as we do, but I'm not going to complain. It's rather nice. Right, let's go over and get our rings. The rings are just too valuable to not go for as much as you possibly can. Get another eternal heart going there, if we can keep it. Speed up's rather nice. Ooh, look at that um, lump of coal going there. Doing great work. But yeah, I love stuff like Petscop. I think it's I think it's just one of those weird internet things that happened and everyone should know about. <laughs> like, it's not... Like, it's not the craziest thing out there, but it's just, it's, it's special. It, like, a, clear a lot of effort went into it, and uh, it was a huge time commitment for whoever made it as well. Like I said, it spanned the course of quite a long time. Oh, no. They bugged out again. I think I can just exit and continue, but I'll be honest, I don't know. Okay, I can. Good. That does happen sometimes when they bug out. Got a mysterious gift here. And then go into our shop and get another mysterious gift. Now we need to find the secret room, which actually could well be here. Yeah, it is. That makes things a lot easier for me. Oh, look, we got another mysterious gift. 
And that one was just poop. This one we got sausage, hell yes. And this one we got Jacob, ah, uh, we don't want to use that, no. No thank you. Okay. Keep a going. I just want to switch items, there you go. Why does it keep dropping my goddamn trinkets? I don't want to drop them. Good stuff. And the boss is up this way. Make sure you properly lose track of where the hell the boss is when you're playing as these characters. Because, um... You come from one way, and then you come from the next, and it, yeah, it proper confuses me. Melts my brain. Oh, yes. That is quite a speedy kill there. Um, take the Polaroid here. We don't, we don't we don't have a teleport card, so I'm a bit of a goober, aren't I? Holy mantle there, lovely. But don't worry about it, because we can spawn one in. <laughs> um, spawn 5.30.1. I remember what the full card code is now. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think we're about ready to go through um for a beast run. It just seems right, and we we've we've gotten a lot out of this setup already. But yeah, I think that is like genuinely like it, there's definitely a little bit extra effort involved in it um in in the process of um utilizing the uh, the mysterious gifts to their fullest. But I genuinely think that's an item that I'm gonna consider a lot more often. Whenever I'm going to, um, whenever I'm going to the death certificate room, because, yeah, it basically allows you to pick what item pool most of your items come from. This guy is strong. Wow, he is taking quite the beat. I'm just going to bomb him. That, that, that it technically works. Hehehe, <laughs> elephant noise. We know where our boss is here. Careful little eye fella. I don't want to deal with you right now. Look at the huge radius on this. It's, it's nutty that it just hits everything in the room. I wouldn't have expected it to work like that, but very glad that it does. And here comes the crows. I mean, look at my tier height. I should be hitting these guys, to be honest. You gotta agree. <laughs> the tier height is enough. No lump of coal for this guy, though. Item room here. Uh, well, shop, should I say. Uh, do we have secret rooms on this floor? I don't know if we do. Doesn't matter anyways, because we didn't get any items out of this. Lovely. Not that we need the money for anything. I suppose the money is useful for uh, our cool glasses. Kind of. Use these if they spawn near us. Seems like they're only capable of spawning at this side, which is nice. Keep going. Okay, well, I think we're pretty close to one another now. There's a misstep, unfortunately. Okay, it's only attacking him right now, so we are going to have to skip on a hop over here. There's our eternal heart got. Nice. Still not close, apparently. I thought I would be able to see the rooms by now. I, I just love the fact that, for some reason, both characters got Tiny Planet. Maybe there's just some items that are purposely universal. I'm not sure why that would be. But maybe, maybe things like Tiny Planet are just universal on purpose, just because of how they function. It very possibly could be that. There's that item room. And now you guys are going to do your thing for a while. If you could land a little sooner than normal, that'd be nice. I like how defined the edges are on my, um, on my tiers for some reason. It looks really cool. 
And what's it going to be? I'm just going to use it here. Toy piano's decent. We'll take it. Right. <clears throat> here we go. Oh, bugger. I always forget those things can press buttons. I'm trying to press them myself, and then I'm like, wait. I don't need to be doing this. Hey, we met up. Okay, good. Right. Head back to our boss room. Health is looking very nice right now. I think uh, keeping our spacebar item there, the prayer card, has been very useful to us. We have to keep most of them alive as well, which is always good. Right. Head back. And we continue on the descent. Now, I don't exactly know how the descent works with these two fellas. It's gone. Just get over it. Okay, no. I, I had a feeling they'd just meet up automatically. It would be a little strange if they didn't. Although... Oh, uh, wait. Oh, there you go. Okay. Just because there was already a coin on the minimap, I was very confused. Okay, so this one, this one we do actually have to re-meet with one another. I'm not sure why we didn't on that last floor. Strange. Wacky stuff going on right now. Music on this floor is bang in. We do meet up, and then do we just go back to the room he started in? No, we don't. Okay, so this is going to be a little weird. We are slightly disjointed here. But this one, it met us up straight away again. That, okay. Things aren't really making out the way that I thought they would here. Mustard seed. For every floor which the total number of collectibles earned does not change, these stats are reapplied. This would have been, actually, I was going to say this would have been pretty good earlier on, but this is actually still pretty good right now, if I think about it. Because I just make sure I don't pick up anything for the next few floors, and I should. Although I do have to make sure to pick up all my coins again, because that, that means. Right, so don't pick up the key. Yeah, I've got to make sure to pick up my pennies again to stay at the same amount of money. This should reapply it, right? I don't know if it did. Let's try not picking up the pennies and see if that works. Oh damn, look at this guy. reapply this time. No. I'm confused by this. It's fine. We'll just leave it as is. It's whatever. We don't need the stats. But that would have been a cool one to be able to play around with on the uh, Ascent. Okay. God damn, we are killing so fast. The toy piano seems to be proving to be very useful as well. Onto the basement we go. It seems that if the first room's a combat room... Oh, no, we crashed. Damn. Okay, this, this could really balls things up. We'll see. We'll see. Let's pause it for a second. If it'll pause, pause. Okay, we are rebooting. For some reason, the uh, recording software has full screened. Give it a minute. I apologize for the black screen. It happens from time to time. We're used to it by now. We are. Right, the moment of truth. Can we continue the run? Yes, we can. Okay, good. Right, is it going to crash on entering this room again? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, problems. <laughs> problems. Okay, I made it through the room by bombing out of it. Let's hope it doesn't crash from now on. <laughs> I just bombed through the room and hoped for the best. Our map has completely disintegrated, unfortunately. Um, but that just is what it is. 
That's just, that just is what it is. Oh, some interesting enemies here I haven't seen before. I like them. Big old turdy fella. Come on, fella. Da. Oh, damn, I got hit by one of those. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm doing here, so... Apologies. Oh, God, look at this guy. Look at him go. Okay, here we go. This is the last floor. Hopefully no more crashes. Oh, my God. He got stuck again. Come on, dude. Stop getting stuck. There you go. Here's the entrance room. I love the big head dudes. They're so cool looking. Right, let's use these. Ow, don't walk into that guy. Bad idea. And we are almost done. Huzzah. Oh my god, that guy's flinging tears all over the goddamn place. These fatties are different too. These are new. Fiend fat ears. Hey, there's a heart. We probably, we probably want that. Ah, oh, it's it's those enemies. Okay, we we know that now. It's those enemies, right? We are back in it, back on the start of this floor again. Right. So once we come across that enemy again, just make sure. Oh wait. Um. We seem to have lost a significant, very significant amount of our items. And a very large portion of my, my health. Yeah, this is not good. We've uh, we've killed our run. <laughs> the run is dead. And I'm not rebuilding it because it will take far too long and the game will just crash again, so. We've still got this um, holy beam thing going on. We're just going to make it as far as we can get because the game is not in agreement with us today. These guys are really cool. That's all these poopy fellas. They've got a lot of health though, damn. Also, the uh, the thing to angle my dude doesn't work anymore. I wonder how this... Oh, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. For some reason, that thing just breaks the game. Okay. We were one room off. God damn it. Right, we somehow lost, like, a ton of our items here, so... Oh, wait, we got them back. Okay, we got them back. Good. We still lost a lot of our health, though. Right, um... Heal up. I guess I can give myself some of my health back now, then. Right, give... Is it C13? No, C12? C15, okay. C15. There you go. We're back up to four again. Okay. I forgot the 3D glasses broke the game. Come on, chill. Chill out. Chill out, game. I just want to open the console to remove them. Don't you dare crash. Come on. Game. Oh my god. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I like Revelations a lot. But I'm looking forward to not playing it again for a while. <laughs> yeah, the game crashed again. Oh my god. It makes recording... Such a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> right, we're good to go again. Don't pick up the 3D glasses this time. Lesson learned. God damn. 
Ugh. This has been stressful. This time we get Mum's box. It doesn't really matter for us. Um, no thank you. <laughs> right, let's see if we can do this without crashing. But yeah, I love Revelations. I think it's a fantastic mod. But if you want to play it with any other mods, it just, it just, it's so unstable. And I've, I've had people just say, oh, well, just don't play with other mods then. But I like other mods. I don't want to disable all of my other mods to be able to play one mod. The one mod isn't worth disabling all of my other mods. So. Um, it's something that I'm, at the minute, I'm de internally debating. But I, I think that until there's an update, Revelations might have to, de to be put in the back pocket for a little bit. I'm very glad we've taken a look at it. And I, there's still a few more things I want to explore. I still want to make sure I get the, um, the lost thing done. Uh, people are saying that I need to try and fight the mirror boss as the as the lost ghost thing. So I want to do that. Um, but after that, I think we might have to put it on the back burner for a little while. Because it is just insanely unstable. Like, when, when playing with other mods at least. It just causes so many crashes. And like, they're not all that bad. But sometimes you lose the whole run and stuff. And it's just... It just makes recording a nightmare. For, for general play, if you're not recording, it's not that bad. But for recording, it is... It, it basically takes me two hours to record a 40-minute video. It's it's insane. I, I just don't have that kind of time a lot of the time. Like, it's a weekend at the moment, so I'm not that bothered today. But generally, I don't have that, that kind of spare time to be fucking around. Um... So, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go back to the stream folio, which I'm hoping you guys are fine with, because I'm definitely fine with. I still really like what we had going on with the previous stream folio plus series. I think there's, there's so many good mods and more coming out that are just awesome to play around with for that, so. As long as people are still happy with the Isaac gameplay. Even now, this is like insanely laggy. This should not be as laggy as it is. Did, did, did he just die? What the fuck did I just do to that man? He just insta died. What the hell? Um, I don't what I don't know what caused that. I do not know what caused that. I don't want the M trinket, but I'll have it anyways. Why not? Okay, he entered second phase straight away as well, so there is something going on here. I don't know what's caused our uber damage here, but I'll stick with it. I think it's just because Tiny Planet has so many tears stacked and the Toy Piano is stacking that death effect so many times, maybe? Something to do with that? that damage that's obscene that is obscene How fast is he gonna die? Quite? <laughs> Not instantly, but quite. He seems to have a lot more uh, damage cap going on with him. Okay, now he's just not taking damage at all. some bombs in there, because why not? Ow. Yeah, I don't know why I'm dealing like such, such little damage to him now. Look at that bomb, what the hell is going on with it? 
being kicked around like crazy. Ow, one of them hit me. Okay, we got him, we got him. Wow, well wasn't that an insane run? Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.